today I'm going to talk about some of the most desirable cities around the greater Pasadena, Southern California area. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Kevin Kuo here, local realtor in Pasadena, California. Welcome to my channel where we talk about home ownership in the greater Pasadena, Southern California area. If you have any real estate needs or questions, all my contact info is in the description down below. Give me a call, my partners and I would love to help you achieve your real estate goals. So you're moving your family to the Pasadena area, but you're not sure where to look. Growing up around Pasadena, there are several prestigious family-friendly towns and neighborhoods that all the locals want to live in. They all have a low crime rate, short 20 to 30 minute commute to downtown LA, excellent green and walkable streets, and plenty of large residential homes for big families. I'm going to go over their school rankings, lifestyle, and what makes them so desirable so you'll know exactly where to look when you make your move here. To give you some context, Pasadena is located 12 miles northeast of downtown Los Angeles at the base of the San Gabriel Mountains. Generally speaking, this area around Pasadena is called West San Gabriel Valley. The first city on our list is the city of San Marino, located just south of Pasadena. San Marino is one of the most exclusive of the cities in West San Gabriel Valley, with a median home price at a whopping $2.8 million. It only has a population of 13,000 people and is only about 3.8 square miles. San Marino High ranks 339 nationally and have elementary and middle schools that score consistently between 9 and 10 on greatschools.org. Neighborhood streets here are wide, clean, and well landscaped. Most homes here are pretty large with lot sizes at least 10,000 square feet and building sizes at least 2,000 square feet. However, there are homes with lot sizes that are larger than half an acre and much larger buildings. The city is very private and looks picture perfect because it has a very strict design review process and building new homes here is very difficult so you rarely see new construction. You won't find any malls, big box shopping centers or industrial buildings here either. Local attractions for visitors include a private art museum and garden called the Huntington Library. There's one street called Huntington Drive that has professional office buildings and a few neighborhood supermarkets and restaurants but that's pretty much it which is fine because you're right next to bigger cities like Pasadena to the north and Alhambra to the south with vibrant downtowns, shopping centers, and plenty of commercial activities. Before we move on, if you enjoyed this type of content, please remember to subscribe or hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm to help share this video. La Cañada Flint Ridge is another one of the traditional heavy hitter old money neighborhoods and it's located northeast of Pasadena on a higher elevation around 1100 feet above sea level at the base of the San Gabriel Mountains. Home to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and situated furthest from downtown LA, La Cañada has more shopping centers, at least it's got a target, and many people choose to live here because it's got easy commute to major metropolitan cities Glendale and Burbank using the 2 freeway. With a median home price of $1.9 million, it has a population of 20,000 people, it's a size of around 8.6 square miles, La Cañada High School ranks 225 nationally and also has elementary and middle schools that score 9 to 10. Its neighboring city, La Crescenta Montrose is also an excellent choice with a lower median home price at 1.06 million, 7 to 9 scoring elementary and middle schools, and a high school that's ranked 1097 nationally. La Crescenta Montrose also has some of the lowest crime rates in all of Southern California, making it safer than 70% of all US cities. The next town we're exploring is the town of South Pasadena. Not to be confused with regular Pasadena, South Pasadena is actually a city located southwest of Pasadena and is the closest city to downtown LA and the most dense of the cities on our list. It's about the size of San Marino at 3.5 square miles but double the population at 25,000 people. South Pasadena High School is ranked 434th nationally and its elementary and middle schools score consistently 9 to 10 year after year. Median home prices here is about 1.6 million and has a good mix of multi-family and single-family homes. Lot sizes here aren't very large, but the convenience that downtown LA makes up for it. And there are neighborhoods here with breathtaking hillside views of the LA skyline. Residents here say that it's like living in a quiet small town surrounded by metropolitan cities. There are more commercial centers here, but the shopping centers here look like they haven't been updated 
dated since the 1990s and are definitely not shopping destinations that will attract people from other towns. There is also very little inventory here but that hasn't stopped home prices from rising. In fact, South Pasadena is among the highest appreciating cities on our list in the past three years. The city of Arcadia, located just east of Pasadena with a population of 58,000 people and about 11 square miles, is the largest and probably the most commercially active of the towns on this list. And is a great choice if you're looking for good schools in a city with more local attractions. Arcadia's elementary and middle schools score between 8 and 9, and Arcadia High School is ranked 810 in the nation. It's got plenty of attractions like the Westfield Shopping Center, the LA Arboretum, and the Santa Anita Racetrack. And the city is much more friendly to home builders, so you'll see more inventory and more newer construction here. It's also the furthest I've seen buyers who work in downtown LA are willing to commute. Current median home price here is about one and a quarter million. If Arcadia is too expensive for you, you can still enjoy all of its amenities by living in a neighboring city to the west called Temple City. Temple City has a median home price of 890,000, 7 to 8 scoring elementary and middle schools, and has a high school that's ranked 1,004 nationally. Temple City also has very low crime rates, making it safer than 54% of all US cities. Now let's talk about the most desirable areas within the city of Pasadena itself. You may be asking, does that mean the most desirable places around Pasadena must have the best public schools? Actually, that's not the case either. Most people I meet move to Pasadena for the commute distance to work, neighborhood environment, lifestyle, and local attractions, rarely for the public schools. If they want prestigious schools for their kids, they usually price the cost of private schools into their monthly payments when they move here. Even though the median home price in Pasadena is a little bit over a million dollars, there are premium neighborhoods within Pasadena that have home prices that rival those of the cities that I had just mentioned. Fixer homes in each of these premium neighborhoods Neighborhoods can start at around one and a half million and the most expensive homes can go as high as 20 million dollars. In my opinion, the most prestigious neighborhoods in Pasadena form a L shape around the city. Starting off with a premium neighborhood located on the most northwest corner of the city, North Arroyo. North Arroyo is like Pasadena's own version of the Hollywood Hills. It's a hillside neighborhood that overlooks the Rose Bowl. The lots here aren't very large, but it's very private, and there are actually only a few streets that go in and out. Living here, you'll have easy access to the Rose Bowl and all of the activities that happen there. It's so close that Pasadena actually barricade the neighborhood streets to keep people from parking here during major Rose Bowl events. Just located directly south of North Arroyo is another premium neighborhood called South Arroyo, located right next to the Lower Arroyo Trail with the iconic Colorado Street Bridges. Roads here are sloped and you feel like you're in a mountainside community even though you're in the middle of a major metropolitan city. South Arroyo leads into the city of South Pasadena and is very close to the entrance of the 110 freeway leading to downtown LA and minutes away from Pasadena's most famous destinations like Old Town Pasadena. On the south side of Pasadena, the premium neighborhoods of Oak Knoll, San Pasquale, and Chapman Woods are located just north of the city of San Marino. These premium neighborhoods are famous for having large estates and for being close to California Institute of Technology, Caltech. Everything south of Del Mar Boulevard are single family homes and the further south you go towards San Marino, the larger and more expensive the homes become. In some areas, it gets hard to tell which city you're actually in. There are a lot widths here in these neighborhoods from 150 to 200 feet wide and homes here as large as 9,000 square feet. You are further away from the freeways, but you can enjoy all the commercial activities of West San Gabriel Valley's most famous cities within minutes. Check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe to get more updates on new videos about living in and around Pasadena. If you're looking to buy or sell in this area, leave me a message and my partners and I would love to help you achieve your real estate goals. Until next time, goodbye.